Hey guys, um, I've been thinking about making some YouTube videos and stuff, but I wasn't sure what to make them about, so I just thought I'd try with my first mushroom trip. When I first started exploring with the ideas of mushrooms and psilocybin mushrooms and, you know, getting high on hallucinogens and stuff like that, so if you can hear me better now. Um, yeah, so I actually, well, the very first time I got high on mushrooms is not the time that I'm thinking about right now. I went to the ocean with my friend, and uh, let's just call him friend number one or cool guy or something. But uh, I went with him to the ocean, and we uh, split and ate the shrooms. And uh, I bought it myself from this random guy that it was really unsafe where I bought it from because I just didn't know this person. And, like, he was even warning me, like, you got to be really careful when you take mushrooms because that shit can poison you. And you don't know what it is and it can kill you. And so I didn't really take that to heart too much because I was just like, yeah, man, like, you're not going to kill me and stuff like that. You know, but, like, I wasn't, like, being, like, you know, I was probably, like, 16 and I wasn't like thinking in my right mind, 16 or 17, maybe 18, I don't know. But uh, the trip that I definitely remember was not the only time at the ocean, because I didn't really feel it that much when I was at the ocean, you know? My friend was tripping like big time, though. <laughs> he was tripping big time. Like, I'm not gonna get into like what he, what he, uh, what he was seeing and stuff like that, but he was tripping big time and it was super funny to watch with all my uh friends you know because i wasn't the only one that went up there to the beach i mean i live in washington so like you only go to the beach in the summer you don't really go to the beach in the winter because it's nasty and shit like that you know so we went up there in the summer or like ah, i can't remember the year but it was so long ago you know i was probably like 17 18 but the first time I really did a good amount of mushrooms by myself and like I was starting to feel the effects was when I uh, went up to Tiger Mountain and I had a car back then so I would just drive to pick up these mushrooms and then just drive to Tiger Mountain with my bow staff and practice my bow staff and shit while I was on Tiger Mountain. And it was, like, super fun, man, like, because I was just by myself, nobody else to bother me and shit. And, like, honestly, I felt like I was in communication with the animals that were living there. Like, there was ravens and there was crows. And I remember this one vivid connection with this raven that was floating tree from tree, kind of following me and shit, just keeping an eye on me while I was flying, you know. And I was like, I am a ra raven. You know, like I, I got into that zone where I was just like, I am an animal mind and I am a raven following this raven as this raven was leading me out of the trail. Right. But I climbed this mountain, Tiger Mountain. Right. And I can't remember if I went up all the way to the point of uh, the very top where people paraglide and stuff like that. But um, I went off this little branch, uh, this little like corner of the mountain which like nobody was like on because it wasn't exactly a trail i kind of like took my own trail and i was sitting on this perched log like high above the ground and uh i took my eighth the mushrooms and i just took them straight up and i was like i remember they didn't really taste really good you know because they didn't really taste like okay this is like um the best thing i ever eaten it's like a four course meal or something no it was more like Okay, this is different, you know, it gets me high, so I might as well just eat it, you know, because, <laughs> like, I had to kind of power through that. The best way I heard to took mushrooms, and I've actually taken mushrooms, is through a tea or something like that. You can, like, make your own teas, and you can make them sweet flavored, and, like, so they don't actually taste like mushroom, you know, and you still get the same effect. But, uh, yeah, like, um... I was on this mountain, right, and this guy who was driving a van, which takes um, paragliders, uh, 
like people that jump off with a parachute off the mountain and they catch the air and stuff like that before they land on the ground. He was like, what's that for? And I was like, my bow staff? Oh yeah, I'm using it to practice with. He was like, that's awesome, man. <laughs> so I was literally like training like a ninja in the middle of these woods while tripping and just getting so in tune with nature. I felt like an animal that belonged there, you know? And so on my way out, this raven kept like leading me out of this way of this trail when I followed it, right? And I followed it all the way back to my car. And at this point, I wasn't tripping as much. I wasn't having like visual hallucinations and stuff like that because um, I wouldn't recommend like you do this because, you know, like some people have like visual hallucinations and stuff. Mine was kind of more like a psychological change. Like I just felt like, whoa, I'm like a ninja on a mountain training right now you know, with my bow staff, and I'm, like, really getting in tune with my feelings and stuff, you know, I'm letting my anger out, and all, all these kinds of mixed up emotions of depression I had when I was a teenager and shit, and, like, I'm just venting, you know what I mean, just venting it out, so I still have that image of that raven in my head today, and I can't get that out of my head, and it's awesome, but um, I wouldn't recommend doing mushrooms and driving, because you don't know how you're going to react. You, you might want to have a safe place before you do any hallucinogenic drugs or hallucinogens. Because, I mean, it's not as powerful as acid. But I'm sure if you take enough, it could be. So, I took like a whole eighth. But, uh, I wasn't like tripping so much where I couldn't drive and shit like that. But, in the state of Washington, it's like a schedule one drug. And it's like a Schedule 1 um, or a Schedule 3 drug. I can't remember exactly which one. But it's illegal to have mushrooms in your possession. And I actually got popped one time. Well, I didn't get arrested, but I got a ticket for uh, driving. I had a little bit of alcohol in the car, which I wasn't drinking. But I forgot was there because I had to keep all my stuff in my car because I was living in an apartment. With two specifically, like, I don't know how to put this in terms which is nice, but I was living with two Asian bees, if you get my drift, and, like, anything that they would go through my stuff and, like, find something that was out of place, like, they would do it if I wasn't at home and stuff, so I had to keep it in my car, and that was so stupid because when I got pulled over by this cop, she pulled this out, and I was like, she pulled out some some uh mushrooms i think there was a little bit of weed and uh some uh alcohol in the eighth bottle of like it was like a vodka bottle of like svedka or something like that like some cheap alcohol but like it wasn't filled up all the way it was like filled like with an eighth of the actual liquids inside so this was a different time when I picked up shrooms and um, I actually, the only person that I picked up shrooms from from that point after I remember that guy saying you could get poisoned by them, you gotta like know who you're getting it from and they gotta know like what mushrooms to get and stuff like that. So I got it from this guy, my late friend, Nick Germer, who was uh, tragically killed. Um, he was tragically killed and murdered by uh, some random guy. I'm not even going to use his name because it's not worth the time. But he was shot um, somewhere along the river, the Cedar River. And uh, yeah, so it just makes me think back to how cool of a guy he was to actually sell me mushrooms in the first place because not a lot of people were doing that. And he sold an eighth for like 35 30 So I was like, that's... I think he sold it to me for 35 but like an eighth would probably go for 30 bucks. I mean, here in Washington, that's that's all I know about mushrooms. I'm sure you can get like an eighth for like 20 bucks in like Oregon or something like that, like depending on like who's picking it and shit like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so my friend died and uh, it was really sad. It still wears on me and shit like that. And I still think about it to this day how cool of a guy he was because 
I wasn't, that wasn't the only time I tripped. I've also tripped on acid with him before. And I was with um, my late friends. Well, not my late friends, but he was my late friend. And uh, we tripped on acid in the neighborhood before. And it was like, it was a pretty cool experience, you know, after I got to know him and stuff. So, yeah, I still miss him. Still think about him a lot. He wasn't the only friend that I know that died recently for me. I know my friend Keon took his own life, committed suicide. And that was about six months or something before Nick Germer got shot. So, anyway, like, before all this bullshit happened where my friends were dying, I was actually in, a, like, a good headspace to do hallucinogenic drugs. I wasn't going to, like, trip and have a bad trip or something like that. So, it was a good trip story. Bottom line is, like, I felt like a raven on a mountain, and it was amazing. And to any kids or, like, anyone, like, thinking about experiencing drugs or whatever like that, I would just say do it in a safe place where you're not going to have a bad trip and, like, just be super safe about it, you know? Like, because you don't know how you're going to react. And, like, it's honestly, like, mushrooms, if you don't take a lot, it's not going to, like, affect you, like, maybe acid wood or something like that. But it's definitely going to, like, change the way you think, you know, for a little while. And honestly, like, some of the things I've learned while I was on these mushroom trips stayed with me for, like, years, you know what I mean? Like, because I didn't do it that much often after that. And I would just be like, I don't know. I just felt really in tune with nature, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, um, you know, just do it in a safe place, you know, like, so you don't have a bad trip. You know, I've, I've heard different mushroom stories from different people, and they all kind of vary from person to person. Some say they had hallucinations or, you know, they were seeing visuals or whatever it was, but I, I really wasn't seeing, like, too many visuals, it was more this feeling that I got when I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun, you know what I mean, like, I'm definitely in the right place, on this mountain by myself, Tiger Mountain, by the way, going up this trail, I feel pretty safe, you know, so, yeah, I just, I just wanted to tell you about my mushroom trip, my probably my second mushroom trip and it was like a lot of fun and like even now if I do mushrooms I'm probably gonna like do it in a safe place and like make sure that I'm not tripping too much around people because I am I'm not really exactly a people pleaser you know so like I don't really go around and like look for people to talk to and shit like that I'm more kind of isolated and by myself sometimes stuck in my own head I'm more introverted if that makes sense. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, I would say do it with some friends and go to the beach or something like that. Because when I first did it with my friends on the beach, it was a lot of fun. And uh, we didn't even have to drink alcohol after that. We were just tripping on mushrooms and shit. So it was, it was a lot of fun. And uh, I would definitely do it again if I had the chance. All right. I appreciate the time it took for you to watch this video. I thank you, and I hope you have a great New Year's for 2023, a new year. All right, bye.